In EasyCut Studio, it is very easy to weld uh, shapes or text that is touching with a simple click of a button. And the beauty of this part is it is not permanent, which means you can weld something with a flip of a switch here and you can unweld it just as easily without altering the core value of the shape or text. And let me sort of explain this to you. I want to go ahead and zoom in on this text. As we can see, there are pieces that are overlapping each other. And with this, if I go ahead and select the text here, uh, you'll notice that there's a nice bounding box around it. And if I go ahead and go over to the wrench, uh, we have some styling tools available to us. And I want to go ahead and select the weld button. Now it looks like nothing has changed. And that's because we need to preview this in order to see the changes. So preview is found right up here. If I click on it, you'll notice that this window appears. However, if we take a look at the text, uh, the H flowing into the A is uh, now grayed out right there. That means it's not going to cut. Whatever's going to cut is going to show up in red. Uh, now, let me go ahead and uncheck mark this. And if I go ahead and click preview, you can sort of see that the A stem right here is flowing into the N. It's no longer grayed out. Uh, so that will actually cut out. And that's because of the weld toggle. So this works with shapes, it works with text, so anything that is touching will be fused together. However, like I said, you're, you're still able to edit the text with that weld button selected. So that's the beauty of this program as well as the weld option. When you check mark it, uh, the only thing that it changes is when it finally goes to cut uh, you can see it in the preview that it will be fused together when it does cut. So that's what Weld will do. That's how you do Weld text in Easy Cut Studio.